This video explains how to include books in both your notes and bibliography, according to the 16th edition of the Chicago Manual of Style. I will show you how to format citations for print books, including the edition number, edited books, and an individual essay or chapter in a book that has a different author than the book's editor. For specific information on ebooks, please watch our video, How to Cite Ebooks. In these examples, all punctuation is in red for emphasis. In your actual notes, all font will be black. For your note, start with the author's first and last name, followed by a comma. Next, enter the title of the book in italics. In brackets, enter the city of publication. If the city is unfamiliar or easily confused with another city, add the abbreviation for the province or state. After the colon, enter the publisher's name, leave out words like incorporated, limited, or company. After a comma, include the year of publication. Outside the bracket, place a comma followed by a page number where the reader can find the original quotation. Don't forget a period at the end. Also notice how in your note, the first line of each citation is indented and the following lines are aligned left. In your bibliography, put the author's last name first. There are also differences in the punctuation. In some places where you used a comma in the note, you will use a period in the bibliography and there are no brackets around the publication information. In your bibliography, the first line of each citation is aligned left, and the following lines are indented. To find all the information you need to write your citation, look at the book's title page at the beginning of the book. Here's the title and the subtitle, the edition, and author's name. At the bottom of the page is the name of the publisher and the city of publication. If more than one location is listed, just use the location that is listed first. You will often find the year listed here as well, but if it isn't, turn the page to find the year that it was published. Previous editions are sometimes listed. Go with the most recent. If it's a library book, the year will also be on the spine label. And here's a hint. You can look up that book in the library catalog. All of the information will be listed there as well. Next, let's look at what to do with edition numbers. For editions of a book other than the first, include the edition number after the title, using the abbreviation ED. In the note, a comma follows the title. In the bibliography, a period follows the title. What if the book indicates that it was edited? If you have an editor instead of an author, simply add the abbreviation ED after the editor's name. Or if there's more than one editor, use EDS. If you have an editor in addition to the author, begin with the author's name. After the title, in the notes, use the abbreviation ED for edited by, following by the names of any editors. In your bibliography, spell out edited by. In your note, even if you have multiple editors, do not use EDS. Finally, what if you only need to cite an individual essay or chapter in a book that has a different author than the book's editor? Start with the author of the essay or chapter. Remember, in the note, the author's first name goes first, but in your bibliography, the author's last name goes first. Next, include the title of the essay or chapter in quotation marks. After this, write in and the title of the book in italics. After the comma, include the editors. Remember, in the note, to use the abbreviation ED and in the bibliography to spell out edited by. In your bibliography, also add the page numbers for that entire essay or chapter. In your note, you only need to indicate the specific page that you took the quotation from. And look carefully at the differences in the punctuation in the notes versus the bibliography. For more information about Notes Bibliography Style, check out our other videos or visit the Munn Library's website for our Chicago Style Guide and chat live with library staff. Thanks for watching.